All right, and it looks like we are live here today. Welcome back, everybody, to the Daily Digital Show. Uh, my name is Junior, and I'm here to keep you all well informed with our digital world. Today is Friday, July 29th, 2022, and we have a few things here to discuss. The first thing being about um, something we kind of mentioned, I think, last episode, maybe two episodes ago. Uh, just a company that is also offering uh, VR spaces for you know the general public. If you can't make your own, then there's a company that will make them for you. The next one is uh, all about web-based AR, so web-based augmented reality. And then the last one is a website that I was that I found, and um, I just wanted to kind of share with you guys to kind of see the possibilities of how um, businesses are taking their website to the next level. Uh, utilizing Web3, um, utilizing 3D technology and all that stuff. So without further ado, we'll take a short, quick break here and then we'll get started. Okay, so the first item on the block here is a company called VR Space. Um, their website is just vr.space. And as you can see here, what they do is they create custom VR spaces for uh, user generated content VR platforms. Um, I think, uh, okay, here's the actual home page. Sorry, I was on the about page before. Um, and yeah, so creating custom virtual reality spaces and more VR space is a creative studio that focuses on creating and developing custom social VR spaces for businesses. So if you are a business owner or maybe if you even are an individual and you want to create a space for your employees, uh, space for your customers to come and check out for you know either your products or anything else you can definitely get one started up here uh, as you can see here just kind of scrolling down a little bit a little bit a little bit um, they got a bunch of news and stuff that they've done before in the past uh, custom social virtual reality spaces uh, just like businesses realized they needed a website in the first place they will one day realize that they need a VR world, which I believe is definitely coming here soon. Today is similar to the dot-com rush of the late 1990s. Everyone is just now realizing that the future of the world is going to be all about virtual reality. Uh, and this company was actually started by someone who's been in the VR space for quite some time. I think in 2017, it says she was. Yeah, since 2017, this lady named Elaine um, Carap Carapetian aka spooky goose spooky ghost boo and i'm assuming that's her like user tag on different um vr worlds and stuff like that uh the main one being vr chat uh if you don't have a vr headset like the oculus or whatever you may not know what vr chat is but vr chat is just a a really big chat space for the vr people uh, there's also like alt space vr uh, there's also rec room as well um i think there's another one out there as well um, but yeah, so she's been creating VR spaces for herself since 2017 and also with this business She's been creating it for others as well um, You can kind of go to this website here again. I'll just this is just the main website for uh, VR space VR period space And you can kind of click on these different links to see everything that she's been doing She has created tools and educational YouTube videos for other creators uh, on their own VR worlds uh, Elaine and VR space Team specializes in creating spaces specifically tailored to uh, social VR and can build on uh, several VR platforms such as VR Chat, Horizon World, that's the other one, Horizon Worlds, and also Alt Space. All right, uh, virtual reality for business and office spaces is what they do. Virtual reality space for your business to serve other customers, and also virtual reality office spaces for your employees. Um, so yeah, so again, I haven't used this company before. This is just one that I came across. I, you know, I felt like I want to mention to you all just so that you all are aware that they exist in case you're looking to get started into the VR space for your business or anything like that. Um, just, you know, they're available to you. Uh, let's see Elaine and the VR space team specializes in creating sp spaces specifically tailored to social VR, um, and can build on several platforms, including VR chat, horizon world and alt space. Um, so yeah, so this is uh, this is definitely a good place to grab your stuff here. Spaces, they have different videos. 
I'll see what I click on on spaces. So yeah, so there's just a couple of other places. Elaine's Galactic Bowling. Um, so they have bowling alleys. Um, the Black Hat now available in rec rooms. So the Black Hat is, I think, her main one here. And then um, she also has it in uh, VR chat as well. Hidden Heights. Uh, another black cat here, suburban lake house, driving range, the corner pocket, um, office spaces, 3D assets on Sketchfab. Sketchfab is a, a really good resource to anyone out there who don't know how to create their own 3D products. You can go to Sketchfab and then download essentially a bunch of 3D assets uh, to your disposal. Um, some of them are free, some of them are paid. Um, but yeah, check that out as well. So the next item up here is how does web-based augmented reality work? So I think I mentioned to you guys before that augmented reality is one of my favorite things about this new you know, era that we're jumping into. Um, and you don't exactly need an expensive device like a pair of glasses um, that does augmented reality for you um, on your face. You don't need to purchase one of those. You can actually use something that you already have here today which is your cell phone, your tablet, and so on and so forth. So this was published back in May 28, 2021, so well over a year ago. Um, and the technology is only getting a whole lot better. And essentially, it's just kind of like as you see here. This guy here, he's in some sort of factory. There's a bunch of packages on the factory, and the packages have these little QR codes on it. And on those uh, QR codes, out pops up these order times. So you can actually set the order time date. Um, this is like real world case for you know business and stuff like that you can set the order time date for each one of those packages there um, and so on and so forth um, how is this different from <clears throat> app based ar uh, the main thing is that you don't have to purchase a you know device for it it's not, nothing too expensive nothing too crazy um, and actually i found that a lot of people like this a whole lot better you reach a whole lot more people because you don't have to download no specific app for it uh, you literally can just click on a link It'll take you to a website like we do already anyway, and then you'll actually see real world stuff on your screen just with some added virtual items inside of it. That's the main uh, key thing about this AR technology here is that you're bringing the digital world inside of your physical world. Um, so yeah, so there's a 50% drop in engagement when users have to go through and download a brand new app. After that, only 25% 25 25 of people use the app beyond the first interaction. Uh, Web AR, on the other hand, is easily accessible with just the simple link or the scan of a QR code or tap on an NFC tag. Uh, this enables AR experiences to be enjoyed across most mobile devices and browsers without requiring users to uh, download an entire application. Uh, this broad accessibility means that Web AR reaches twice as many mobile devices as its app-based counterpart. So yeah. Um, how exactly does it work? If you're not really big into AR, then this may not interest you very much, uh, or even if you're not into it, um, uh, but you want to just learn more about the technology, uh, this will be a good portion for you to read here. But the main thing is that it has six degrees of freedom. Uh, so basically your motion is based on your current positioning and also your axis of orientation. So you can, you can rotate the screen around, plus you can go forward and backward, left and right, up and down. Uh, so you have six degrees of freedom there. You have your camera stream, uh, which allows your camera to um, basically see the um, physical environment that's in front of you. Uh, you have scene understanding. So again, based on their physical environment, uh, it'll know where a floor is. It'll know where a wall is. It will know where a cabinet is or something like that in the house. And then lastly is the cloud-based CMS, which is basically a content management system in which you can add all of your um, uh, augmented assets inside of there so that they can be easily accessed as soon as somebody uses a QR code to see it um, or some sort of link or a marker or anything like that. Um, these are a couple of app-based uh, AR frameworks. So AR Kit, R AR Core, AR.js and Vuforia. And I just wanted to kind of show you guys those here, um, just so that you guys are aware that they exist if you ever want to create yours as well. But I do have one here that is a web-based um, AR platform as well. And they are literally called MyWebAR.com. Uh, and this is a company that I've been watching for quite some time and they've been doing a lot in the AR space. 
Uh, I actually do plan to use them here very, 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 very shortly uh, because I have a couple of ideas in mind that I want to kind of get across. Um, just, you know, you know, a few projects that I want to actually do. And um, if you go to web, myWebAR.com, you'll see uh, they have basically everything that you need in order to create your own web-based um, AR project or anything like that. Um, so they have their own platform which you can upload your 3D objects. Uh, say for example, this chair in a room, they have a ball there. Um, you can show what happens if you click on that ball and, and all that stuff. And then you can attach a QR code to it. And then you, know, you can apply the QR code someplace else and then so on and so forth. Uh, and here are a couple of use cases, ideas that you may have. Uh, business card, which is one idea that I have. So essentially, uh, there's a lot of people out here who are coming out with their own business cards um, and they um, are adding all their social media stuff to it. Uh, but imagine just a AR inspired one here where you can scan this code and then out pops up some image of you or somebody else um, that actually does some stuff on the screen. Um, product showcase. So here you can actually utilize so these um, skateboards are not there in real life but you can actually see them propped up on that bench there in real life uh, real estate real estate is also going to be another huge one to where you can um, uh, essentially sell a house just by viewing it uh, out <laughs> you know in your own house right now uh, you just get to see the whole entire inside of it without actually being at the location at the site uh, very good for remote people who plan to travel and work remotely uh, but you can't get to it yet. Uh, as a virtual guide, I've seen this. Um, oh man, it was, it was like at a, uh, it was overseas, like at the Eiffel Tower or something like that. Somebody made an actual virtual guide where it took them around to show them, you know, t uh, spots around Paris and stuff. Uh, digital marketing is another thing, as well as automotive. Um, and add augmented reality to anything. So essentially, you can do image tracking. Uh, so it can recognize an image. This is good for like clothing. If you have an image on a shirt and then, you know, someone scans that shirt with them with their cell phone, they'll be able to see certain things that happen. Uh, world tracking. So you can recognize um, different services in our real world. And also, of course, the QR tracking, which you can recognize with a QR code. And then that QR code would essentially take you to a website that does whatever you want it to do. Um, so yeah, I would definitely say check out mywebar.com. Um, and if that, if that hasn't interested, if that has not interested you yet, please do look at these prices. They have a free plan, free forever for non-commercial projects. So if you're just doing stuff for fun, like I'll be doing, go ahead and click on that, get started with it, play around with it. I mean, again, this is the wave of the future here, guys. I cannot express that enough. Uh, if you do want to turn into a small business, it's only $25 a month. Um, that I think that's right around the amount of what Netflix is a month. Uh, and you can't make money off of Netflix. You know, you can make money off of this though. Alrighty. And so the last portion that I have here is actually a website that is utilizing 3D um, technology to create their website and it is amazing they did a really 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 good job with this uh, I'm very happy to show this to you it actually inspired me quite a bit because I've been working on um, websites for a very long time and I've been getting into more of the 3d websites and everything but this right here really it really set the <laughs> it really set the bar for a lot of people um, so um, the website is life in vogue dot vogue dot it uh, it i believe is a top level domain and maybe for italy the reason why i'm saying that is because i cannot understand a word on this screen here i do know this is a cookie policy usually with cookie policies i've seen a bunch of them um, it has one that's you consent to the cookies or you um um you disagree or something like that or if you want to continue knowing the risk but you don't really agree so i'm thinking that's what these three say uh, I'm just going to go ahead and say I agree. Wish me luck, guys, because uh, this is a wonderful website to show you here. And so, yeah, Life in Vogue. So, as you can see, first thing they want you to do is click. I think it actually has some sound to it, too. Yeah, I don't know if you can hear that, but I can hear um, the bus. I hear dogs barking. I hear the birds chirping. I hear wind. 
Um, I think it just stopped because there's no more else to it. But that was a nice, nice pop up that happened there. So that 3D effect that happened, uh, I might actually just so you can kind of see that again. That was nice. So yeah, life in vogue. Go ahead and hit explore, and then watch this. All right. And then once you turn the page here, it takes you to an elevator. I mean, everything is just very, 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 very well done. Uh, you can go through all the, the seven and a half levels. I'm not going to click on them all. We am going to click on a few of them, but let's start here. The director's anamorphic office, click on that. And it actually transports you into a whole new world, a whole new space here. Um, and again, this is actually very, 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 very well done. Um, since it is 3D, I can kind of scroll around as you can see here on the screen. And I'm, again, I'm just on a regular laptop, guys. This is, I mean, I can look up, I can look down all around and I can see different like products that they have. You can see those little dots there. Um, and I'm gonna actually click on a couple once I kind of get a feel. All right, so, um, Let's see. So yeah, so let's click on this one. I guess this is a video. It'll transport me here. Um, okay, that one video is not working. It's no problem. Let's keep it moving. And again, I'm just again with the. I don't even have a mouse. I have just my trackpad for my um, for my laptop, and uh, and I'm moving around like this. So these videos are not working. That's no problem. So we can actually go back and go back to the elevator which is up here top right the door is closed we're back in the elevator which one do we want to go to now uh let's go to let's go to four the enlightened graphic room all right so this is i believe number four the enlightened graphic room and i am really really liking this i don't think i clicked on this one before but again, yeah, so you, again, you guys can see, I can just go all around. It's really immersive in 3D space. I can just look up, I can look down, I can look everywhere. Um, I can click on this stuff. So all this just says live, these are live videos. Let me just try not, I don't know if they are all live videos, but. Okay, so this here is not live, this is just an image. Let's see what happens when I click on that. This is a gallery of some sorts. Um, yeah. So yes, nice, nice look. So this is how most 2D websites would look. This is more of the 2D effect where you have a flat screen. All you would be able to do is swipe left, swipe right, maybe swipe up and stuff like that. So this is more 2D in that case. But this is this is the old way of doing things, guys. This is this is the old way of doing things now. Now we're getting more into all of these websites looking more like this, more 3D esque. Um, Let's see, party in the fashion editor's office. Again, you can see it goes from five to six, and then it goes from there to there. And here you go, so this is the fashion editor's office, and it's a party, party, party. Again, if you look up, you see the ceiling, glass ceiling, you look down, looks like there's glass everywhere, this is really nice. Um, here, it's not live, it's not an image, it has some bars, maybe some statistics or something. Oh no, this is sound, so it's taking you to Spotify. It's actually taking you to Spotify to Life in Vogue, I guess, channel or something like that. Um, and they got some music and stuff like that. What was that? Prince on there, I think. Yeah. Bunch of different artists. So it takes you to their Spotify page. So it's really just like another website. You can add links to all of this stuff as much as you want to. Um, let's see. I'll click on this one. This is just like a plus sign. I don't know what this was really. If I can get to it. Or maybe not. Um, here's another image thing, image based. Again, this is the old way of doing things, scrolling up, scrolling down. I mean, it was just perfectly fine. You can add that to it. Um, but I mean, once you once you jump into, okay, this is audio here. Life is slowly resuming. 
and a party has been held in Vogue Italia's editorial office in collaboration with Xiaomi. Champagne is ordered and poured into glasses by Michele De Lucchi. Keech cakes are shared, the music is a little too loud, and a video is playing. We open the windows on balconies dripping with green plants. Okay, 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 I like his accent. And jumping back, jumping back. I need to get me an accent, man. All right, so let's go. So we're now we're going to go to room seven and a half, and this is the garden. It looks like, um, and this is oh nice, the inspirational garden. Again, click and drag to look around. It has again up here some audio playing. Seven and a half is the topmost level, the attic offering a privileged view of the world. It is the coveted destination, the arrival point that concludes our climb. Seven. I mean, this is, guys. If you if you are not impressed by this website, they took a lot of time to actually create this. I mean, this is uh this is wonderful, in my opinion. Um, they did a really really good job with this website here. So yeah, don't want to take up too too much of your guys' time. Uh, I will go ahead and kind of let you guys review this website as well. Again, the website for it is lifeinvogue.vogue.it. Um, and so, yeah, so you guys can definitely go ahead and check that out. Definitely check out all of the other stuff in there as well. Uh, mywebar.com. Again, if you want to get more into the AR uh, experience world for your products, uh, reach out to me if you have any questions in regards to that 3D website. Uh, again, I'm getting more into building a lot of that and then that I mean to me That's gonna be the wave of the future uh, when they talk about niche down that I feel like that's gonna be my niche right there because I mean that's like amazing stuff uh, for sure um, So yeah, so if nothing else you guys have a wonderful rest of your Friday again uh, I will be back in tomorrow Sundays are usually the only day I take off from providing you with all of this new digital technology um, please do let me know what you think about all this stuff in the description below uh, I'll be more than happy to answer any questions in the comments as well Tap in with me on my social media channels. All of that will be provided in the description as well uh, And until next time you guys have a wonderful day